All right, Father Fred, yeah. All right, well, you're getting the second half. You're getting the sloppy seconds. Just made kind of an angry video. <laughs> so I'm still kind of pissed off. A little bit impatient. Um, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, it seems like you're just goofing off up there. You know, maybe you could uh, give this whole multiversity thing a virus or something and crash the whole system. It sounds kind of loopy. What, you go golfing and you, uh, you're you the worst golfer in the world and the best golfer at the, at the same time. And that's fun. Oh, come on. And you really couldn't find a single other universe where you didn't have kids? I mean, really? I mean, the whole multiverse thing broke down just so you didn't have a single universe where you didn't have kids? Oh, man, weird. Uh, but yeah, you're, being, you're not being very helpful, I have to concede. I don't know if I really have much... I, you know, I didn't have much use for you in life, to tell you the truth. I mean, all right, guy, I'm good enough for hanging out with, but... Yeah, I mean, you know, I learned more from anthills. <laughs> you know, to tell you the truth. Um, I, I can't go anywhere with this mumbo-jumbo, obscuro, uh, bullshitto uh, stuff. I mean, uh, you know, if you don't, you know, I mean, even in hindsight, if you don't appreciate that, oh, you got really lucky and things worked out, and maybe with a little maturity and seeing the lives of other people who have horrible things happen, that you're just like, whew, I sure got away with one there. You can't even say that. Yeah, fuck. Yeah, no, you're not much help at all. Um, so, yeah, go, go about your business, whatever that is. And, uh, you know, I'll, when I get there, I'll do, I'll go about my business trying to fuck that place up because that place sounds just as loopy as this. And uh, everybody's just goofing around, playing along. And <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. Uh, but anyway. Uh, it's just so irritating. Sorry. I, I mean, let's say there was one of these multiversity things you're basically saying is, is that everything happens no matter what you do. It's all going to happen. I mean, I'm still going to, you know, meet some guy on the bridge over there and kill him in some universe or, you know, I'm going to go fuck a dog over there. Uh, you know, everything. There's a butterfly. I'm going to go fuck. I'm going to rape the butterfly in some universe. I'm going to try to rape the butterfly. I mean, what, what, where do you go with this nonsense? And it doesn't matter, even if I say no, I'm not going to rape a butterfly. I can't not rape the butterfly. Because if I don't do it in this universe, I'll do it in some other universe. So it doesn't even matter. I mean, come on. Life is stupid enough. I mean, why, why, why pile a big pile of extra stupid on top of it? Oh, it's not paradoxical and nonsensical enough. Let's make it even more nonsensical. I mean, I'd rather, almost, go back to the Bible and the three pigs. Maybe I'll just mix the pigs and uh, Goldilocks and the bears and just add them to the Bible. And maybe I'll be able to stomach the Bible then. Uh, because, I mean, frankly, I'd rather that than some wacky, uh, everything's happening everywhere, wacky theory. <sighs> yeah. I have fuck it. I just want to find out where this whole thing is plugged in and I want to pull the fucking goddamn plug. You fuckers just ain't getting it. You know. Yeah, was that fun? What the, what the fuck are you assholes doing? You have any fucking brains at all? It's all just a big fat fucking jackass joke? God damn it! Alright, apparently I haven't dealt with my anger issues. <laughs> it is kind of funny, just when you think you're getting something under control, you just, you know, no fucking way. Uh, is the realization. Uh, yeah, so anyway, camera can take a licking and keep on ticking, which is good. Somebody fucked with these damn cement things, now they're all wobbling. Oh. Alright, anyway, I don't like having to be that talented to get across. Hey, look at that. Might be frog eggs. No. Alright, never mind. Uh, yeah, so back to where I was. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I did throw the camera. I actually threw the camera. I've always wanted to throw the camera. But I threw it, you know, with my left hand, I mean, with my right hand. 
which is, you know, I'm left-handed, so it was kind of a girl throw. I mean, I only went about, you know, 25, 30 feet into the side of the hill here over here. Uh, but anyway, sometime I'm really going to chuck it. <laughs> yeah, just or right into a tree. I'll throw it right into a tree. Uh, I hate you people sometimes. I really do. You know, <laughs> you know my, my whole perception of YouTube is right into that camera. Eventually, all of you are in there. You're in. You know, Nick doesn't like being put in a box. <laughs> you're inside of a little fucking camera now. Yeah, you don't like a box. Well, I'm sorry. You're in one now. Uh, but anyway, maybe that's a good subject. I didn't really get to the boxing thing in my video to him. But, uh, you know, there are certain labels. I mean, they're just undeniable labels. You can't run from them. I believe in unintelligent design. Which scares the fucking shit out of me. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, that's the consequence of it. Oh, I'm living in an unintelligently designed universe. Uh, I mean, you know, if I said, if there was a ride at the amusement park, or let's say, just say roller coaster, and it said right on it, this was designed unintelligently by retarded forces who have no fucking clue what they're doing. Now, would you, <laughs> would you get on it? I mean, they just told you it was just made by dumb forces that don't have a fucking clue. You're not going to ride it. Come on, be honest. Even for 15 cents, you're not going to get on it. <sighs> All right. And there's a bunch of insanely crazy fuckers coming off of it laughing. Okay, we'll grant you that. There are There is some indication that some crazy fucks had a good time. <sighs> but they're the same kind of crazy fucks that are eating cotton candy. I mean, come on, sponge sugar. Ugh, well, anyway, shouldn't even make a joke out of that because it's better than eating meat. <sighs> well, it's some other example of what they're doing just to make it so you can't be sure of their testimony. <laughs> you know, they really wouldn't know if they had a good time or not because they're fucking insane. That's the other joke, is this whole idea of popular expression of... Well, I have an individual notion that I'm accomplishing something. What's the difference between saying I'm self-satisfied with my existence? I've had enough happiness and joy. Uh, I mean, enough, yeah, to, to cer certainly overwhelm any miseries I've incurred. What's the difference between somebody saying that and saying, I think it's perfectly fine for me to bash little creatures, little sentient creatures over the head and tear out their guts and barbecue them for dinner. I mean, it's all based on some sort of math, some sort of equation in their fucking head. Uh, so why is one opinion sacred? Like, I have to sacredly pray to the opinion that some asshole says, I like life. Uh, so what? You can make a retard say anything. Maybe that's what I should just say. I can say some words to a retard over and over, and he will eventually parrot those words back to me. I mean, the fact that idiots think they're accomplishing something doesn't really mean anything. <laughs> you know, it really doesn't. I mean, I'm not saying it's useless. I'm just saying it doesn't mean anything, really. It's not very reliable testimony. Um, and regardless, it doesn't do... The substance of the argument is, is that for one of those, you, or for ten of those, you're going to have at least one person stand up and say, no, wait a minute, I don't want to do this, uh, so I'd rather not go. Are you allowed to just throw them in the trunk? Are you allowed to just lock them in and say you have to ride, whether you like it or not? I mean, the bottom line is, the veto has got to be stronger than the, uh, the other little raised hands if you just do the, the raw calculation because the veto is defending his um, uh, he's defending something more precious than what the other you know 
joy riders are after. So the veto has to be given more of a vote. Uh, you can't do something at something else's expense, especially something you can't defend as necessary. And it will never be necessary until you can demonstrate that you're defending somebody else's right not to be harmed. And obviously, there's no such rescue mission here. Uh, life is not a rescue mission. Having a baby is not a rescue mission. It's an imposition. Uh, anyway, that was a long add-on. Sorry, I didn't mean to, in didn't intend to drabble on, dribble, drool, whatever. Doesn't really matter. I'm a little tense, shit going on here, things, life, <sighs> people. <sighs> anyway, it doesn't really matter. <sighs> yeah. Yeah, I think it's pretty sure it doesn't really matter. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> Let's not do this anymore. <sighs> anyway. Alright, till next time. And such and whatnot, so forth. Blah blah blah.